energy drink manufacturer Pro Energy seemed set up for success, but only a few years after making a deal with the Sharks, the company disappeared. So what happened? When entrepreneur Tanya Petruno started her business, Pro Energy, she was hoping to bring a viable alternative to traditional energy drinks free of negative side effects to the growing market. While the majority of energy drinks contain an excessive amount of caffeine and other stimulating ingredients, Pro Energy fuels the body in a different way, using protein and vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 was likely chosen due to its glucose-converting abilities, which in turn boosts energy levels naturally using properties already present in the body. Described by Petruno as a steak in a bottle, each 4-ounce portion of Pro Energy contains 15 grams of protein instead of sugar, fat, and excessive caffeine. Upon its inception, the beverage came in five flavors – grape, watermelon, citrus, berry, and pomegranate. After Petruno felt the company was headed down the right path, she turned to Shark Tank, hoping for an investment to help the brand grow even further. The company's pitch hit the airwaves on season four of Shark Tank. For her presentation, Petruno added a little star power by bringing out Super Bowl champion Brandon Jacobs, who said he and his teammates enjoyed the energy drinks. Petruno's goal was to bring down manufacturing costs. The drinks sold at a low price of $1.80, which wasn't a great long-term model since they cost only 70 cents less to manufacture. Petruno walked into Shark Tank asking for $250,000 for a 15% stake in her company, which had earned $126,000 in the three months leading up to the taping. She had already invested $75,000 to start her business. Despite Pro Energy being in 3,000 stores, Petruno only received an offer from one shark. Damon John agreed to pay $250,000 for a 30% share, with the stipulation that Pro Energy also made a deal with another company John was partnered with, Badass Nutrition. Petruno immediately agreed. I need his know-how how to navigate through those meetings. Is that a yes? That's a yes, Damon. Petruno told the Shark Tank blog that the traffic to their website skyrocketed almost immediately after the episode aired, and that it had, quote, the highest conversion rates in the show's history. After Hurricane Sandy devastated much of the East Coast, including Petruno's neighborhood, Pro Energy changed its logo and design and had a relaunch party. The new design and name, Protein Water by Pro Energy, was featured on its Facebook page on July 10, 2013, with a series of new flavors. In addition, even more athletes including Dion Sims, Dwayne Hendricks, and Glenn Tapia endorsed Protein Water. Everything appeared to be going spectacularly for the company until July 2013, when Law 360 reports a man named Joshua Fenwick sued Tanya Petruno in addition to a number of her family members, her lawyer Brandon Jacobs, and their associated businesses. Fenwick claimed that he and Petruno's husband, Eddie Duckman, founded Pro Energy together, but due to Duckman's criminal history, Petruno's sister had acted as his representative and signed anything that required a signature on his behalf. Fenwick alleged a complex web of deceit in which a shadow company, Santa Per Solutions, was set up without his knowledge and claimed that everyone, especially Duckman, tried to force him out of the company. Fenwick also claimed that he and Duckman were the ones responsible for Pro Energy's formulation and that it was Fenwick himself who finalized the endorsement deal with Jacobs. According to court documents from the case, the first time Fenwick sued, the case was dismissed, but he refiled the following year. He also eventually added Damon John to the lawsuit. Fenwick's lawyer was later brought in front of the Office of Attorney Ethics after it was alleged that they engaged in frivolous litigation. It's unknown if all of the litigation had anything to do with Pro Energy disappearing, but by October 25, 2014, both its Instagram and Facebook pages posted for the last time, and its website disappeared. The last decade has seen the market saturated with protein and energy drinks, with Protein 2.0, Power Lift, and Ready Protein becoming some of the most popular protein waters in the industry after Pro Energy folded. However, those involved with Pro Energy have kept busy in different careers. Tanya Petruno's Facebook page is dedicated to her work as a realtor, with pictures of beautiful houses for sale and tips on everything from installing a headboard to making wreaths for your home. Brandon Jacobs posted his final Instagram endorsement of Protein Water by Pro Energy on May 12, 2014. Since then, his various social media pages are mainly filled with his opinions and comments about his family and sports with a focus on football. Jacobs also continues to do interviews about his time in the NFL from time to time.